<laughs> You've been my chocolate. <laughs> yeah, we've got most of the people on this. Chocolate. We're not. We're not getting. Uh, getting chocolate. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> okay. I can bet my chocolate. Ashley, bacon. Then also bacon. 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 They mean chocolate. All right. <laughs> Back to the game. Back to the game. Okay. Where the last we left. Meanwhile, well, at the Hall of Justice. Are you going to finish your speech well, from earlier? Are you going to finish your speech from earlier? Which speech? speech? From earlier? Which speech? The speech of we're going at an incredibly slow pace and. Dun, dun, dun. We are going at an incredibly <laughs> slow pace for this game. Uh, Kingmaker is a slower pace game than most, but at the same time, I honestly feel that uh, me and Jake have gone over some of the rules of things, and we're going to try, <laughs> try to help you guys out uh, uh, by getting the party moving a little bit faster, because I understand... Yeah, it's a thousand gold for a build point now instead of two? No. Mm -hmm. <laughs> double our speed, double our speed, no. There are ways to where you can crack the system, and I've been reading up on the forums quite a bit. Uh, Paizo's forums has a lot of ways where people have kind of cracked it out, I'm and sorry. a certain a certain degree of cracking is uh, obscene. But small and light abuse of the system is what they are wanting. I mean, they want your they want your fighters to have improved weapon or greater weapon specialization with a two-handed sword, so you get massive amounts of damage. As your dungeon master, I do want you guys to succeed because I would love to see an actual kingdom made. Both of those examples parallel the same idea. We are here to have fun, and you guys are here to enjoy yourselves. You plus the rules are here to help us kind of guide the way as we gain levels. What's going to happen is that as the course of the campaign progresses, I'm going to be trying to funnel you guys more towards, and it's not, oh look, I see railroad tracks, but I'm trying to help you guys steer yourselves to more profitable endeavor to where we don't have one road made per year I want you guys to have a half a city done by the end of this calendar year. So not railroad tracks, but railroad tunnel? The light at the end of the tunnel is not, <laughs> it's not helping, it's, it's the B train. <laughs> <laughs> train. C train. Radio. I don't feel like that's a bad thing. If you guys have a problem with that, please let me know. Here, he has a problem with it. I have a serious problem with it. <laughs> yeah, but you're going after this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's going to be responsible and they'll make money and you the judge. Mom and Dad said no. Oh. Yeah. Hey, you know, I don't Burger think your mom will be 30 year olds. No. Actually, when she's had enough sugar, yes. <laughs> 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 no, no Katrina with sugar. <laughs> <laughs> it's entertaining. It's, fun. it's psychotic. But entertaining. Oh, so our parents said no. We, we, will, uh, we will not allow you to go gaming with the buddy. Grown ass men that don't have their own job. Pretty much. Uh, she already gets one day. She gets one day a week here. She doesn't need more than one. Yeah. Apparently, according to them. Right, this, okay. this is called social life. Um, kind of. The second life. <laughs> Se second life. Not quite. That works. Meanwhile, back at the tavern. The, the party. You guys are in the tavern. Um, the tanners the nope. making their second trip in in the past week. After they order their meal, they stop by the table where you folks are have your maps unfurled of where you've been and where you need to head to. The mom and dad are very, very happy at the return of their son. In fact, the uh, absence from, uh, from uh, their life was almost too much to bear. The father leans down and tells you, uh, gentlemen and ladies, that he's very happy with the way things have happened at his house. And, if there's anything he can do, uh, he's going to try to help out the country as much as possible. I'm going to pledge you guys four head of beef cattle for the next spring, unless uh, death or dismemberment should befall you. And I'm not hoping that that should happen, but I would actually like to see uh, this nation grow itself. And I feel that you know you need to have this. So he does that. And now you guys will be made aware of that there are four calves which are being grown on their farm <coughs> amidst their cattle number of 20 plus. They're going to be giving those to you guys next spring. Okay. As you guys, as you see them depart the bar after they've eaten, Cabo, <coughs> while you're there, you see the uh, female gnome come in. She's not Kiki. 
<laughs> Damn it! Well, this one will be close. Is she a <laughs> What? Is she a puppet? She's a bend. Let me put it that way. This female gnome that walks in the bar is an absolute bend. For those of you that don't know what bend is, a bend is a halfling or gnome that is cute enough to make you want to bend over and kiss her. Or him, if you're of the opposite sex. What if you're an elf? What? What if you're an elf? Elves are not always horny. <laughs> She's a cutie. When she walks in, she spies your party, actually the rulers of this nation, this fledgling kingdom. She comes over and she sits across from you. Fledgling hellhole? Well, Rick, I don't believe that I've been made aware that this is a fledgling hellhole. I've been to the Roman, and that is a fledgling hellhole. But I am endeavoring to. My name is Serena. Hello. I'm from the nation of Briboy. And they've sent me here as a delegate. I understand that you're with this party of part time mercenaries and near do wells, which is now turned rulers of the fledgling nation. And trying to bestow <laughs> some sort of good upon the kingdom and have excellent relations, which we do currently have, I want to further those. She hands you a sealed envelope and it has a wax seal on it from Nobility House of Free Boy. You recognize it from being one of the ruling houses of Brief Boy. It's really <laughs> just a paper. <laughs> just really small. That's awesome. Great <laughs> idea, Amos. Paul's a midget. And as you look at it, it appears to be from the Sarnetti throne. One of the minor houses of uh, Northern Brevoy, but they do a large amount of martial work. They they forge a lot of weapons. They do have a large amount of military pull within the nation, and they sent her here because she is the new diplomat. And it appears that they have sent her with the intention that she would take a shine to you. From as you read down further in the letter, if you read it word for word, it's quite boring. But if you read between the lines of what it actually says, in your hopeful mind, <laughs> <laughs> she will give you head if you leave with her. No, no, no. <laughs> if you are going to sue this right, <laughs> she has been sent to you, duty. <laughs> <laughs> To destroy him, you're deployed him. Diggity. That's not reading between the lines, that's adding between the lines. You know what? Well, what you call reading and I call adding are a completely different thing. <laughs> Yay, Since, math. <laughs> Since you are the diplomat of this nation, I believe you and I should have multiple parlays together. 30 on diplomacy. I believe this is a beautiful relationship. And she pulls from behind a bouquet of roses. Okay, I was going to be. It's a gnome. You never know what they're going to pull out. Get a possum? Get a possum? 31 on Sid's motive. I don't want to know what the are going to I am horny for her. No, for her, not you. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. As I'm used to you and around in the air and all that. I'm kind of like that robot, uh, that big tall robot on Robot Chicken. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> dun, 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 dun. <laughs> 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 Good, good. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Andy, breathe! No, don't. 
tell him. It's funny. He's turning colors. <laughs> wow, his face is as red as my hair. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> his face is as red as a Scotsman's kilt. Dude, I've zoomed in on it. It's hilarious. <laughs> That's what the gnome said. It's loose. Oh. And OJ's here, hide your wallet. <laughs> wow. And your jewelry and these items that you might And produce the napkins. I said the juice was loose. <laughs>